Okay, so now we're going to look at how I can use the wiggle and combine this with the linear interpolation. So what I want to do here is I want this star that I've created and I want this to follow my wiggle, my wiggle line. So if I play this back, my line is moving and I want the star to follow it. So how do I do this? Well, it's similar to what we did before with the linear interpolation in this composition here. So we're going to go to our star and then we're going to open up the position. It's already open here. If you don't see it, press P. And then we're going to write an expression. Then what we are going to do is we are going to go up to this arrow, interpolation, linear, interpolation. Select this here. Now what we do is we just follow the same steps as we took before. So for my T here or my value, I want this to be the rotation of my wiggle line. So I'm going to go over here, open up rotation, select this, delete the T, and then we're going to pick whip down here to our rotation and this appears. Now what we need to do is we need to find our T minimum or the lowest point in the amplitude. So how do we see this? Well, we go to our graph. Select your rotation, and it looks like the lowest point in this is over here. Maybe even over here, yeah. So it says negative 91. So what I will do is I will put negative 92, just to be safe. And then we're gonna go and find our highest point for the T max. And if we go over here, so it's 77, I'll put 78. Good. Now what we need to do is we need to find out where we want our star to be when the wiggle is at these two rotations. So open up your graph once more. Go over here, click on your star, then drag it over to where you want it to be. So I'll say right here, and the position is 375. So for my value one, I'll put 376. Do the same thing for the other side, the value two, or the T max. So open up your graph, click on your rotation. Okay. Drag this over here to where you want it to be. That looks good. So I have 1495, I'll put 1496. Now if we play back, nothing happens. That's because we're not done here. Now the reason this isn't working is because our wiggle line only has a single value for its rotation. While on the other hand, our star has two values for its position, X and Y. So I'm gonna make this here at the X because that's what I want to move. I want it to move on the X value or on the horizontal line. So I'm gonna write X equals this expression right here. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press a semicolon and then I'm gonna press enter like this. And then I'm gonna write Y equals and I want my Y to remain constant or the same. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick whip up here to my position Y of my star. And this expression comes up. Now you could also write in a value if you wanted to, but once you are done writing your expression, you are not going to be able to move it as you're able to move it if you just pick whipped it. Now going forward, we put another semicolon, press enter one more time, and then we have to write these brackets. So X comma Y. And we don't have to add a semicolon at the end of this. Now if I click off and I play it back, notice that my star is now following my wiggle line. So that's how you can combine the wiggle with linear interpolations. Okay, so we've just created our star following our wiggle and it looks like this. It looks nice, cool. But doing this, we had to write this long expression out. Now, is there an easier way? Well, there is. And that's by doing something called separating the dimensions. So what we're gonna do is we're going to duplicate this. 
press Control D or Command D if you're on a Mac. And then I will press Enter and I'll call this separating dimensions. I'll open this up. And we have the same composition and we have our expression here. But what we are going to do now is we are going to right click on this position and then we're going to select separate dimensions. And then we're going to write an expression on the X. So press Alt or Option on the Mac, write the expression. This pops up. We're going to go back to our previous composition and we are going to copy this expression here. Bring it over here and paste it like that. And if we play it back, we have this. And if we want to move our star down a little bit, we can just drag down the Y. And for the Y, we could have written an expression here as well if we wanted to. So that's just another way that you can create this wiggle to linear interpolation effect. And it's a little bit simpler than writing out the long expression as we had to do in the last one. So I hope that you learned something from this about the wiggle and interpolation and that you will give this a try. Until next time.